welcome. Thank you for joining me today. So I just finished a beautiful run um, uphill. I'm going to show you a little bit. It's a slope, slight slope, um, but it goes all the way up, all the way up to the pine trees. Um, I did that for just about 25 minutes. Um, I have a little bit of sweat going, but I'm jumping on here really impromptu because I'm feeling so good afterwards, um, as I always do when I do my uphill runs, to share with you a few of my top tips for staying really healthy um, diet-wise during the winter, this winter. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tumi. I'm a medical doctor, I'm a dancer, I'm a poet, and I love creating um, videos on this channel to support you in living your best, your most delicious, your most healthy life. If you enjoy videos around minimalism, holistic health living, veganism, raw veganism, um, and in dance, all my videos are infused with dance of some sort. Consider subscribing down below. So we are getting cooler days and definitely cooler nights where I live. And I know many people who watch this um, are going to cooler months. Um, I send love to you, those of you who are in the Southern Hemisphere who are going actually into the fall and, and um, excuse me, to the spring and summer. But you know, your bookmark this video for uh, when you start going into cooler months. For those of you going into cooler months, I wanted to share a few of my top tips for eating healthier, eating more fruits and vegetables, eating more living foods if that resonates with you, even as the days get colder. The first couple of years, I went raw 10 years ago now. I've been on this raw vegan path for 10 years, thriving in it and feeling so good in it. But the first couple of years, I was living in New York City and France, and I was spent a winter in France, actually. And part of how I was able to do that is my first tip, which is layer up. We really are tropical beings. We are, as homo sapiens, we really are meant to be living, living in warm environments. And so if we're not put on layers, I was never good at this. My mom can tell you that. I used to never put on layers. I loved having my skin expo exposed. Um, but I think going raw really taught me the importance of staying warm when it's cold. And so put more layers on that you think that you need. You can always take them up, off, but stay warm. Put on socks, light a fire in your home if you can. I love scarves, as you many, many of you might know. Layer up. That will decrease the desire to eat foods that are going to um, be processed and heavy so you can numb out and feel quote unquote warm inside. But again, that I will share with you later, that warmth does not last. Um, the second thing is vitamin D. Mm. Get out into the sun if it's available to you. The sun is often still available to many, even during the cooler months. Not always, but often. So when it is, get out there, get some sun on your skin um, and get that vitamin D. Vitamin D is a pre-hormone. It's so important for hormone regulation in your body um, in in terms of helping your immune system, um, in terms of so many regulatory mechanisms on so many systems and organ systems of your body. So I really recommend getting vitamin D when you can't do it through the sun. I do recommend getting blood checked to make sure you don't have a low vitamin D. And if you do, supplement that will definitely affect also satiety levels and making healthy food choices. Number three, oh, I love this one, eating seasonally. So in the winter, fall and winter months, eat accordingly. And what's in season now? Pomegranates are coming into season, persimmons, and definitely in the winter, your citruses and greens. I just finished putting into our garden a lot of greens, endives and butter lettuce and kale. Greens are amazing all through the year, but I find them especially helpful and grounding during the cool months. So get in your greens through smoothies through juices, through beautiful um, salads. Check out some of, some of my What I Eat in a Day videos for ideas. Sprouts. 
So sprouting is something I love to do again throughout the entire year, but I find during the winter months and the cool months for that to be really helpful, especially if you're in the winter and you don't have a, any more greens growing, you are having problems getting fresh fruit. Sprouts are amazing. They are so rich in a lot of vitamins, including vitamin C, um, and they're a great option when you're not able to grow in the earth. Sprouting, you can do indoors. I have a video on sprouting. Please check it out. Increase the amount of sprouts during the cooler months. I have found that to be extremely helpful in eating healthier in the winter and the cool fall. <laughs> Number five, warming spices. Cayenne, cinnamon, ginger, turmeric, um, even things like garlic and onion, all of that will help feel warmth inside. Some of these things actually help to widen the blood vessels so you get increased circulation and that helps to feel warmer. It gets more blood flow to your tips of your feet and the tips of your fingers and that gives you a feeling of warmth during the cooler months. And the last thing is what I start this video out with. Move your body. Get out. Get out into nature. Layer up and then go for an invigorating exercise, whether that's dancing, running, sprinting, bicycling, um, walking briskly. Whatever it is, challenge yourself. Get out in nature and move. The winter I spent in New York when I was raw was my best winter. And I think it's because I was eating a diet, as I continue to do, that really was best for my body, that helped my circulation. And I was then motivated to move my body more because I felt so good in my body because of my diet. And I would go out in the snow and have runs and it felt so good. I would just put gloves on, two or three layers of socks and go for a run. And the feeling of coming back from the snow and peeling off those layers and seeing and feeling my sweat, there's nothing like it. So I, in, I invite you to move more during this um, cooler months and you'll feel that circulation. You'll feel that blood pumping from your heart all the way to your extremities and it will get you warm. And when you exercise, you will end up flooding your body with endorphins and encaphalins, feel good hormones that will then help you make better food choices, help you up level your diet and have a beautiful season. I find that the season of cooler seasons is a beautiful invitation to go further within, to hibernate, to quiet the mind and quiet our thoughts and um, take stock of the year and give thanks and, and celebrate. And so um, rather than <sighs> complaining or um, feeling resistance to these cooler months, I invite you to find ways to embrace it. Get cozy, light a fire, go within and use use some of these tips to feel more easeful and to help you make better choices with food. I invite you, if it feels good to you, to check out my book down below, Delicious Healing, in which I share a lot of tips on up-leveling <clears throat> up leveling your health and well-being, on living your best and most delicious life. Um, as I have been doing and I continue to do and I, and I love doing. Check out the book Delicious Healing down below. Consider also joining our membership program called Your Delicious Life. This month we're talking all about food freedom, how to feel a, a better feeling of freedom in your life and with your food relationship. Check out that link. I'll leave that in the description box below. I hope one of these things is of benefit to you. I send you so much love wherever in the world you are. Let me know down in the comments below one way that you love to make healthy choices um, during the winter and cooler months. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.